The only way to get to the World Rafting Championship is to paddle your way through southern West Virginia. I'm off the New River in Fayetteville for the National Rafting Championship. Teams are getting ready and starting to warm up for day one's events. Things are happening all this week, and teams are coming from all across the country, whether it's Vail, Colorado, or right here in Fayetteville, teams are trying to punch their ticket to Australia. Yeah, beautiful river, amazing scenery. We have Perfect clear weather today, it's awesome. Abby Klasgans and her team, Sweets of the East, have a home river advantage for the National Rafting Championships this week. They're based right out of Fayetteville. It's really exciting. Um, we're the only women's team on the East Coast, so we're really wanting to expand the race scene here, and this is one of the best ways to do it. But there are teams from all over the country, like Nine Ball from Colorado, ready to compete in Wednesday's two events, the sprint and the head-to-head. -head. Oh, the amazing thing about paddling in a race like the sprint is you're just giving all, like you're giving everything you can for about a minute and a half. The head-to-head -head is a lot of strategy um, working against another team. So whether you're just a 20-minute drive to the New River or all the way from Vail, Colorado, everyone has one thing in mind, getting to Australia for the World Championships. We try to do as much as we can, paddling two, three times a week all together and then training as much as, part, as much as we can outside of that. We're very proud of it. We're, uh, we're excited to show these rivers to the people from the West Coast and to showcase uh, this great whitewater area to uh, people from all over the country. And Cassidy also says if everything goes smoothly this week, there's a good chance that Southern West Virginia might get put in the national championship rotation. If it does, this will be the host site every four years. In Fayetteville, I'm Dylan Fearon, Newswatch.